In this video, we're gonna share with you guys how Ethiopian Airlines went from a one plane airline to controlling the skies of Africa and became one of the most rewarded and profitable airlines in the world. There may be even an investment opportunity for all of us as Ethiopia is getting ready to open its stock market. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back to Dejan Ethiopia Tours. I'm Dejan Ehud and we're going to be talking about the amazing Ethiopian Airlines. And I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying amazing off the ground, but it's the biggest airline in Africa. So we're going to talk about the history, how it came to be right after Ethiopia defeated Italy. World War II. Uh, we're going to talk about how it has expanded into owning other African country uh, airlines and so much more. So stay tuned. In the hearts of Ethiopia, a land of ancient origin, breathtaking landscapes, a modern marvel takes flight. Ethiopian Airlines, an enterprise born from the audacious dream of a nation not just to join the skies, but to master them. Founded in 1945, amidst a global landscape scarred by war, an African continent bound by colonial chains, this airline would soon become a symbol for freedom and progress. Historical Insight The story begins shortly after World War II in Ethiopia, recently defended its independence from the Italian occupation, the only African country to do so. Within minimal modern infrastructure and a populace largely engaged in substance farming, Ethiopian Airlines was envisioned by Emperor Haile Selassie. His goal was audacious, to create an airline that would connect Ethiopia to the world. As you guys know, it's very hard for a small YouTube channel to get a lot of subscribers quickly. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed and it would be great if you can help me out and just subscribe or share with your friend, that would be great. Thank you very much. Rapid expansion and modernization. From its first flight, Ethiopian Airlines embraced growth and innovation. As the decolonization wave swept across Africa, Ethiopian Airlines became a pioneer, not only in adopting new aviation technology, but also in the becoming the continent's first airline to be fully managed by its own people by the early 1970s. This period marked significant fleet modernization with the acquisition of jets aircrafts that shrank the globe for African travelers and cargo alike. Rise through adversity. Despite Ethiopia's tumultuous journey through political upheavals and economic challenges, Ethiopian Airlines carved out a narrative of resilience. In the 1980s and 1990s, when many airlines succumbed to regional instabilities, Ethiopian expanded its network, modernized its fleets, and grew its reputation as a reliable carrier, all the while maintaining profitability in times when many competitors couldn't. Strategic Partnerships Ethiopian Airlines has strategically extended its wings beyond its own fleet, forging alliances and acquiring stakes in multiple African airlines. From ASKY in Togo to Malawi Airlines, the recent arrival of Zambia Airways. There are five other airlines that Ethiopian Airlines owns stakes in. These partnerships are not just business ventures, but a strategic web of connectivity, enhancing inter-African links and Ethiopia's geopolitical influence. Economic and Cultural Impact Impact of Ethiopian Airlines stretches far beyond the runways. Addis Ababa, once a quiet highland capital, has transformed into a bustling hub of international diplomacy and tourism. Thanks in large part to the airline, this connectivity has stimulated growth in hospitality and entertainment sectors, turning the city and the country into a beacon of economic vitality in the region. Addis Ababa as Ethiopia's capital and the capital of Africa because of the African Union sits in Ethiopia and also because Addis Ababa has the third most embassies in the world. This becomes a great hub for international diplomacy. Competitors and market dynamics. In the competitive skies of global aviation, Ethiopian Airlines stands out. 
while it competes with giants like Emirates and regional leaders like Kenya Airways, it distinguished itself through strategic expansion and unmatched efficiency. The airline's proactive management and robust business models enabled it to reach a revenue of $4 billion in 2019, outpacing the competitors in the region. During COVID, when most airlines lost money and had to be bailed out by their governments, Ethiopian Airlines was able to shift dramatically and quickly to cargo and being able to move vaccines. Its willingness to adapt fast with precision has made it a powerhouse. Visionary infrastructure, looking into the future. Ethiopian Airlines is spearheading the construction of what will become Africa's largest airport. This mega project not only aims to handle over 120 million passengers annually, but also plans to integrate an airport city featuring hotels, shopping centers, and business complexes, setting new standards in airport development. Awards and recognition. The excellence of Ethiopian Airlines has not gone unnoticed, with numerous global awards under its belt. The airline has been praised for its safety records, customer service, and business expertise. Each award serves as a testament to its relentless pursuit of excellence and innovation in the aviation industry. From its inception amidst the challenges of the mid-20th century to its rise as a standard bearer in global aviation, Ethiopian Airlines embodies the spirit of a nation, resilient, ambitious, and forward-thinking. Ethiopian Airlines has over 150 international destinations and within Ethiopia we have more than 22 airports that Ethiopian Airlines flies to. As a PS to most people that are going to comment on, oh Ethiopian Airlines is so bad at this, Ethiopian has these issues and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I know Ethiopian Airlines has a lot of issues, I've flown it many times, I have a lot of points for myself, but this video wasn't to sh highlight what Ethiopia, the bad side of Ethiopian Airlines or where it lacks because as we know Ethiopian Airlines is one of the biggest airlines in Africa it's a major major government owned company so the things that we wanted to highlight in this video for myself was the achievement that it's gotten uh, not forgetting all the small or big problems that the airline has the next video that we're gonna share with you guys is gonna be about the different tourism destinations that are being built around Ethiopia from the resorts to what's happening in Addis Ababa right now it's like it feels like it's a whole city under construction but we're gonna share with you guys the vision the thoughts what we hope it will become and then what the tourism sector expects from Ethiopia so stay tuned like comment subscribe and also let me know if you're interested in coming to Ethiopia <laughs>